I think the serenity prayer is perfect for marriage. It says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. My spouse. The courage to change the things I can, myself, and the wisdom to know the difference. Taylor? I've written these vows not yet fully understanding what I did to deserve you. I think back to our first date at Zeng's Kitchen and then forward through all of our dates and all of the adventures we shared together. All of our laughter and all of the tears that we've worked through. Suddenly, I find myself here looking into your beautiful eyes. Today, I'm giving you my heart. If I could give you one thing more, it would be give you the ability to see yourself through my eyes. Only then would you understand fully how precious you are to me. You have the kindest heart of anyone that I know. You're driven, you're empathetic, and you have so much love in your heart. These are just a few reasons that made me know that my answer was always going to be yes. After learning about our shared love for Golden Corral, and seeing that you also sing Christmas carols in June, <laughs> my answer was definitely yes. Now that I know what life is like being loved by you, I know that I am marrying the man that I have prayed for and waited for since I was a little girl. You are the best man that I have ever known, and I am so honored that after today I get to be your wife today in front of you and all of our loved ones. I promise to encourage your dreams and be solid ground during times of change. I promise to love you without condition and to build my dreams around you. I promise to love you at your best and even more at your worst. I promise to treat you in a way that makes <laughs> you our family and friends, and your dad up in heaven proud. Today I vow to always put you before myself and to give you my absolute best. You are my best friend and my home. And I'm so incredibly excited to spend the rest of my life. Sorry, my vows are really long. <laughs> <laughs> Now, kiss your bride. Nick and Taylor Francis. thinking of what I wanted to say, I found it really difficult. Trying to sum up our entire friendship into a few minutes seemed impossible.
possible. I remember when she swiped across your profile specifically. She showed me Nick's profile five or ten times that same night. She was just like, look how cute he is. He just messaged me back. <laughs> there comes a time in every guy's life when he meets that one special person, someone who they trust and want to make lifelong memories with. For Nick, this happened 10 years ago when he met me. <laughs> so when Nick told me about Taylor, I could tell by the way he was talking about her that this wasn't just some girl. He found the one. When you guys finally had your first date, she came back with just stars in her eyes. Um, I've not seen you that excited in a long time. You bring out the best in Nick, and I love seeing how happy he is when he's with you. Taylor's become one of my best friends and people that I look up to, and I'm so lucky to have you as my sister. So Nick, congrats on finding someone as sweet as Taylor. Find the man that you would love forever. I think your dad would be really proud of the man that you've chosen to go on this life journey with. A man who loves you, respects you, is a hard worker and a man of faith. And I'm really excited for you both. the dance. My dad, right here, Gavin Whitrock, was my protector and my hero and always kept laughter alive in the house. For everyone that may not know, in 2013, my dad lost his battle <coughs> to cancer. So the song that I'm going to be dancing to today was chosen by him nine years ago in the letter that he wrote me. Sorry. Dancing with me today is also someone very special. And that's my stepdad, Alan. I love you, Alan, and I know my dad is so grateful that I will have such an amazing man lead me in the Father Daddy dance. Bye. 